Hey, my name's Marnie Alton, and I am the founder of Embody. Thank you for joining me today for the Well and Good Trainer of the Month Club. So today, we're going to do a full body bar series that's really going to wake you up from the inside out. It'll be a dancer's flow and we will use props such as a ballet bar, but you can use anything at home that's about waist height and a stable surface. So the couch, a counter, a chair, anything like that. Even a wall will do. I work barefoot. If you prefer to wear shoes, you totally can. In addition, we're going to use optional weights. If you don't have weights at home, you can use anything that's about two or three pounds. So water bottles, wine bottles, cans of soup, those tend to work well as well. I'm going to use a ball for just one of the series. You can use either a playground ball or a couch cushion or a beach towel folded or nothing at all and you're still going to get all of the same benefits. So let's rock and roll. Start to shake it out. Relax in your neck and your jaw and your face and your shoulders. You want to just let the worries and the tensions of the week or the day or the year roll off. Our goal is to tune inwards to vibrate, to energize, to dance. Inhale your arms up and feel your belly expand, exhale down. So oxygen is our fuel. It's how our cells energize. As you inhale, feel yourself filled. As you exhale, clear out stale air. One more time and down. Now turn your feet all 10 toes forward, so parallel. When we say parallel, think about parallel lines or train tracks or the number 11. Knees, shoulders, hips, toes forward for eight, two. Speed your run up a little bit more and you'll really feel the heat build in your center. Release, inhale your arms up, exhale, step out. Now drop your chin to your chest, lift to neutral, head back, look to your right, then to center and to your left. Just surrender to a circle. Your cervical spine is your upper spine and you wanna make sure that it has a full range of mobility. Change directions, other way. Feeling your shoulders soften more and more and drop down away from your ears. Land back, right arm forward for four. If you're a little tight, you can bend your elbow. Circle back four, two, three. Other arm for four. Reaching up and over, circle back. Bring your arms alternating crosses, front to back. And you want to let your hips start to move to the music. 16 counts, three. So this is helping to elongate the musculature that attaches your arm to your chest. Eight more. So all of that forward fold we do when we text or sit at a computer or drive, this is being opened. Now hands drop, circle your hips around. So that full range, all four corners of direction, touching each one, circle the other way. So the inside of your abdomen, the center of your core. You want to feel that you spiral around that line. Now, onto the right foot, rotating around the ankle in that similar spiral shape. Popping over to the top of your foot to awaken the tops of your toes, the little bones in your feet, the metatarsals. The dancer knows the power and importance of the foot. We learn that as well. It's where life begins, it's where we touch the earth. Life does not end at our ankles, it goes all the way down. Think of all the nerves in the sole of your foot. Circle the other way. Feeling that whole release travel up to your core. Then from there, bring both legs together and inhale your arms up. Drop your shoulders, hold to your right wrist, bend to the side, tuck under, and take a big breath. Imagine it opening your ribs, other side, up and over. Keep your shoulders dropped and locked against your back and maintain a real connection, a real weight in your standing foot, in the stretching side. Then both arms up, open your throat, open your heart. Option hands to your low back if it feels a little more stable for you. Four more counts. This is your anterior spine, the front of your spine. It needs this stretch. Exhale, lift up. Walk your feet slightly wider so you're more balanced and forward fold. Bend one knee and the other. Can you feel that release up your outer hip? Then flatten your back, inhale. You have some options here. Either have your fingertips on the floor, press into your shins or press into your thighs. Feel your sternum, the front of your chest open and beam like a lighthouse forward. Inhale deeply into that space, keeping your knees taut and straight. And as you exhale, fold. Notice that massage in your abdomen. Bend your knees and round up. Bring your arms overhead as you breathe in, on your breath out, round down. 
So these rolling hangovers are really creating supple mobility through the spine. They're also activating in your stomach. They're helping to get that stale air again out of your low lungs four more times. You have the option to add this little jump or option don't. Down, down, bend your elbows, draw them back, two more. Dance with your breath, exhale down. Inhale up, now bring your arms out to second position. Plie to reset, roll to the top of your right toes and bring your right arm up. Take a big breath again, other side. So we're really allowing the whole body to be in harmony. Then from there, plie, open, expand. Right leg out, pull your heels together. So your standing leg is straight and there's an energetic pull up your inner thigh for eight, two. Soften your elbows, press your shoulders down your back, and lift from the base of your ribs. Close, reset, other side, other leg, pull in. Really work from your ankle again, that flexion and extension, eight more, chill. One more conscious grip, what we have control over, that's what we're focusing on. Hold there, plie down. Now keep your heels rooted to the ground as you bend. Get a deep enough plie that your heels want to lift, but they don't, and that means they're stretching. Option, add arms just to shoulder height, or if it's right, all the way up to fifth, four more. You're at one, and two, that's three, hold. Roll your tailbone in a tuck and release, elongating your low spine, your lumbar spine, that part of your body is meant to be simple. Then tuck quick, eight, one, two like a standing crunch for your low abs and a stretch for your upper inner hips. One grand plie. So pause with activated abdominal muscles, lift your heels, and then without losing that lovely posture, descend. Open up. Exhale, return to standing. Shift your feet parallel. Lift your heels up, up. If it's too sensitive for your shoulders, hands to prayer, eight more, two. So your calves are the muscles that pump blood from your low body back to your heart. Hold at the top, feel the power of the calves, the muscles around your inner knees gripping. Then step a little wider, push your hips back, forward. This is our cardio dance series. So the first round, you're gonna get it into your body. Four more. You have the option to keep your hands pressing into your thighs to maintain a flat back, or add sweeping arms like me. Now pull legs back, back. You wanna pull your whole thigh bone behind your hip bone, Try to touch your heel to your booty. Option, change the arms to an extension and a bend. And reach. Can you get a little more space in your chest? Eight counts, two, three, four, five, six. Step your right foot to the right, then left, then a double on the right. That's our new dance. Double on the left. Repeat right. And it's light. You can minimize the bounce a lot. Now from there, out, kick, out, kick, and kick. Straight out and in, crossing. Your shoulders today are just relaxing down. A little shrug. Eight more counts, one, two. Pull from your inner thighs. So they snap back in with an exhale. Let's start from the top. Drop, lift, one of eight, two. Option, add those sweeping arms. Grip the floor with all four corners of your foot. Push your hips behind you. Now right leg up, up. Two of eight, four, five, six. Dance to the right, right, left. Then once you've got it, move like you. Move with joy, one more each side. Double step, side. One jack, one kick, kick. Out, other leg, one more each foot. Crossing jacks for eight, two, three, four, five. We have one more round. So drop low, one of eight, two. There is some deep power here. Squeeze your glute at the top. Exhale, two more, one more. Kickbacks, arms pull, two of eight. Word four. Really show your heart. Right foot side, double right. Left foot out, double left. One more each side. And kick. Side, double. 
One jack, right kick. Kick, one of four. What are you flicking off? What are you making room for? Now just jacks out and in. So really deep crosses to stretch your outer hips, sculpt your inner thighs. Option press, last 16 counts. Four, you're raising the roof. Last eight, one, two, four, five, six, seven, and release. Let's get your weights. Forward fold, just let your hips open up for a moment. Weights, now mindful again, just to reiterate, you do not need them. That's the beauty of working like a dancer, that we can activate all of those beautiful arm muscles without anything but ourselves. But if you got them, use them. Pull your elbows back. So we're focusing a lot on rebalancing. So if you've been doing a lot of work, a lot of sort of screen time, a lot of rounding over or sitting, your body is craving this deeply. And it may be a moment till it finds its way back, but this is its natural state, this strength for eight. We're meant to be expanded in your chest. Exhale, five, six, seven. Hold your arms there a little up. So the goal now is to continually lengthen your arms until they're just at a slight bend, eight more. And then visualize that the lift is actually happening from the peak of your bicep. Six, seven, hold there. Bring your right arm up, pull it down to shoulder height, stretch, bend. Again, it's not about heavy weights. It's about conscious connectivity, bringing your brain into the now, into your body. And down, push your arms straight up, eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other side. Up, down, stretch it long, and bend. That's one of four. Now here's something that you have control over. As your arm goes up, push your shoulder down. And that way you're gonna get a little deltoid sculpt along with the bicep. Straight up eight times, exhale. Breathe out as you press up. Four, five, six, seven. Both arms straight out, press out. Breathe out as you stretch. Like the rays of the sun, expanding from that strong, warm center, out. Eight more, you're at three, four, five, six, Seven, hold your arms straight, rotate your palms back. You can lower them if it's in your neck. Keep your elbows strong and straight, lift up. I'm just gonna show you from the side. So it's a slight angle from the front of your body to the back. So it's like you're drawing a small diagonal line. Eight more times, one, two. Your biceps are sculpting because of the extension, the triceps are activating the lift, the posterior deltoid's getting strong. Circle forward, two, three. Circle back for four. We want to allow ourselves to feel. Palms up, circle forward, four. Two. Let's move away together from this idea of numbing. Pause there. Arms go up, then back. So elbows up and back. Your arms will rotate from your shoulder, making mobility as well as strength. To keep your arms bending and straightening, with your palms continually facing the ceiling. So the arms are up, they rotate. So your palms are always facing skyward. Four more, that's one, up. Back two, word three, hold with your arms back. Hinge forward at your hips, walk your legs together. Turn your palms to face your hips, bend your elbows. Bend, straighten. I'm gonna show you from the side just to give you a little more visual about the posture. So your tailbone is extended and stretched back. Your abdominal muscles draw in and that will give support to your low spine so it's not in a sway. It's what we call a neutral low back, four more. That's one. And think about the stretch, the sculpt coming from the back of your arm and the under of your shoulder. Up, up, and then hold at the top. Lift up, up, and hold at the top. Four more there. That moment of stillness. That's true bar work, that elegant control, that dancer holding space, up and hold. You don't need to be continually in motion. There is power in stillness. Turn your palms to face the floor, slice in, lift up. 
in. This is your second to last thing. And once again, we're reminded for this workout that in less than 30 minutes, we will activate and awaken your entire body, bring harmony to your body from soul to crown. For more, you're at one and two and three. And you're going to feel it. Yeah? Palms up, lift up. Four sets of eight, two. Keeping your elbows straight is what will maintain the connection to the tricep. Breathe out. Option releve, second set of four, two, three. You can do this with no weights. If at any point it feels as though it's taking you out of the muscle, drop the weights. Last 16. This is building endurance. So we're passing beyond where we normally stop. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stand up. Step your feet out to a wide second posture. Turn your palms to face me. Bring your forearms back behind your hips. Bend down, up, down, up. So there's a big arc occurring with your arms. You stretch skyward and always maintain a lifted chest. So your spine is vertical and upright through the entire dance, through the whole motion. For more there, pull. One. This is connecting to your lat muscles. That's the largest muscle in your back. Pause there, pull back 16 times. So once again, we're reminding all of those beautiful muscles that run through your back body that they are powerful. We're waking them up. That's six, seven, hold. Keep your back strong, rotate your forearms forward. Lift your elbows up 45 degrees, back down. Exhale as you lift your elbows, option add a pulse. Two of four, we're at three, hold there. Pull your elbows straight back. Exhale as they pull back. This is our th four sets of eight rather, five, six. Add a little pulse down, second set, one. If it's creeping up into your neck or shoulders, lower your elbows. So again, they're lower than your shoulders, last 16 here. And your wrists are slightly wider then, and slightly lower than those elbows. Last eight, one, two. Feel the pull straight back of your elbows. Five, six, seven. Hands to your hips, lift your right heel, lower it. Now here's a cool thing to recognize so we can learn stuff together. One thing is that if your foot is slipping, eight more. So meaning, if when you lift your heel, you find that you slip or you don't feel stable, that may mean simply that your second position is a little bit too wide. All you gotta do is make sure that on releve, your ankle stays under your knee, not wider than. Try it on the left, up and down. So as you breathe out, your heel lifts. This is extremely bolitic in, exec in its execution, and it works those long, lean, graceful muscles of your leg. Eight more, one. And that's two. If you want more fire, just plie more deeply. Two more, seven, hold there. Lift both heels up as an option. Lift both arms up as an option. Pulse, last four sets of eight. We're keeping it simple today. Masterful, connected, almost meditative. Second set, one. The things to focus on are what is active, what is under your control, what is in the now, last 16. So all 10 toes pushing down into the floor. Your abdominal muscles drawing in. Close your rib cage. Tuck your tail. Last eight, one, two, three. Get lower, four, five, six, seven. Stand up. Put your weights to the side. If you have your ball or your ball equivalent, take it now. Put your ball between your inner legs. Find your ballet bar or stable surface. Bring your outer hand to your waist. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Pull your waistline in. Then from there, just drop down, little up, drop. So plie is just the French word for bend. You're plieing, bending into this fire. All 10 toes should be forward. And if you're leaning forward in your torso, your body may communicate by feeling sensitivity in the knees. And that's why the ballet bar is so useful. You pull up and back. So as though you have a string on your heart and that lifts you skyward 
as the string on your, string on your tailbone pulls down. Four more. One. Now we're just going to change the tempo. That's three. Now from there, pulse down, down, hold here, squeeze your ball. This is your second to last thing with your ball. If you don't have a ball, it's just a small squeeze of your legs together. If it feels right for you, your legs can actually come all the way together and pull into your inner thighs. If not, it's a small wave where the ball would be. Down, down, and squeeze. Four more than your last thing. Hold, that's one. Now can you get out of the rut by going lower than you come back up? And hold, one more time, down, down, hold. Outer arm overhead, just squeeze in, in, in. Breathe out as you squeeze, last four sets of eight. Two, three, you did not come this far to only come this far. Second set, four. How low do you have to go to feel your legs? Muscles breaking down and rebuilding. Last eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stand up tall. Put your ball to the side. Face in towards your ballet bar. Bring your feet into a turned out first. Lift your heels and bend your knees. Now all of our turned outs are different. The turn out occurs from the hip, aligns with the knee, and over the second and third toe. From here, roll your tailbone in a tuck and release. So this tuck, is not only working your abdominal muscles, but it's your glute. And it's not only lengthening, but it's sculpting your inner legs. And something unique about this is that your heels are actually touching together. If you're feeling sensitivity in the knees, turn out less. That's gonna be the key. Two more tucks. One more. Now pause with a neutral spine. And neutral is simply activated in your abdomen and softened in your back. Bend more deeply. Bend a little bit lower. Bend a little lower one more time. Then from here, step your left foot just a couple inches behind you. So recognize that your hips maintain their alignment and you've just moved a couple inches. Tuck your hips from here for eight. We're working these tucks a lot today because I want you to really get the benefit of the extension in the hip. Hold your abs and pulse 16 times. That's three and four. Work to bring equal weight into both feet or option, coupe your back foot in. Eight more. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lower down, bring your right leg back. Your hips and shoulders stay aligned, but your right knee is turned out. Bring your leg up, down to your opposite Achilles. Down, eight times, exhale. One. This is one of the reasons that we worked all those tucks to awaken and activate and prime your glute for more, to really get sense memory in that neutral spine and abdominal connection. Hold it there. Pull your knee up, back, pull down. So that's the dance. Knee comes to your ear, wraps back, and descends. Four more. Keep your knee turned to the right and your hip bone turned towards your bar. Two more times. Noticing the side of your waist, all four corners of your glutes. Now from there, just little lifts up, last four sets of eight. Now the more you tuck under, the more you really practice that stabilizing brace of your hip option releve. Second set, three. The more you're gonna feel that you have control over what muscles are activating this lift. Last 16, two, three. Think about your belly button pulling in and up and your heart opening out and forward. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release, plie, lengthen. Two more just as a reset. One more, hold your plie, releve. Walk your feet together one more time. This time, tuck alternating hips right, left. So if there was a little Sharpie on your tail, it'd be drawing a smiley face on the floor, right behind your heels, eight counts, one, two. A little more specific for each oblique. That's six, a little more dynamic. Now pulse, pulse, hold, one of four. Down, down, hold, two of four. Again, 
we're really learning to sit in the stillness. Down, down, hold. Pause there, maintain the tailbone tuck, and step your other foot back behind you. Tuck your hips, just roll and release. Tuck, release, breathe out. Feeling that contraction in your stomach. Eight counts, two, you're at three. Equal weight in both feet, five, six. Back to those last 16 pulses, little down and up. Maintaining that balance through each ball of your foot, maintaining that calibration, that equilibrium, or a little challenge, coupe. Eight, two, you're at three, and four, five, six, seven. Lower down, bring that leg up. Lift it up and down. Exhale as it lifts. Draw your tailbone down, draw your navel up. Breathe out as your leg lifts. And bring your mind's eye to that smile line, that crescent moon at the base of your seat. Four more. Drop your shoulders and elbows. Elegance in your strength. Hold. Bring your knee up, wrap back, lower down, and lift. Continue up, wrap back, lower down. Four more like that. Maintain the height of your leg, even as you move through this dance. Keep it high, lift it back up, two more. There is no motion in your pelvis. It is all a contraction in your abdominals. Up, down. Now lift straight up, last four sets of eight, two. Resquare your shoulders. Acknowledge where you're at. Play with where you're at. Last three sets, option releve. Three. You're never doing it wrong. You're doing the best you can in every given moment, last 16, one. And what that means is that you are on a path to discovery. Five, six, last eight, all from the base of your glute. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. Place your right leg on the ballet bar. Resquare your hips so you align through the hip bones. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, push your tailbone back and prioritize the length of your knee and the extension of your spine. Almost a sway. And then bow your head, point your foot at the ballet bar. And if that means your hands are on your leg or you choose a lower surface, perfect. Walk back up. Rotate your standing foot open. I'll show you from the back. Your hips drop to squared, arms reach up, small sway out, and a big lift up and over. Reflex your bar foot, turn your palm and eyes and heart and throat up to the sky. Tuck your tailbone under and stretch. And then exhale, bring your chest down. Maybe, just maybe your left ear eventually finds its way to your shin. Keep your chest low and hop or pivot back around. Again, if you're in your home and you need a lower surface, go there now, releve. Your goal is to find a space, a shape, that allows you to get this knee long and work into this back extension. Bow your head, bring your hand over, pull back from the bar with a breath in. Exhale, other side. Inhale your arms up, breathe in deeply. Exhale, reach forward and down. And then as you inhale again, straighten your leg and flex your foot. All of the muscles around your knee grip and then point your foot and bow your head. Hollow your stomach out. Play around with shifts of energy and walk your hands up your leg. Rotate your standing foot open, align your hips, raise your arms up. Dance out to the side, sweep over to the bar, pause. Flex your foot and roll your chest up. Reach for something. What are you reaching for? Open up and let it in. And as you exhale, bring your shoulder down. Eventually playing with the possibility of connecting your upper to lower body. Hopper pivot back around. Return to square. Releve. Contract the muscles on the front of your thighs to help release the muscles on the back of them. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, bow your head. Bring your left hand over and your left leg around. Pull away from the bar. Feel yourself open up. Feel yourself take up space. 
Lower down, round up, face me. Inhale your arms skyward. Exhale your hands down to prayer. Hands to heart, hands open, palms receive. And today's class was brought to you by the letter G. Go forward in grace, in gratitude. Step into your greatness. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful. If you're looking for more workouts like this, you can find me at Embody Online. And do not forget to subscribe to Well and Good. We'll see you again next time.